Ladies and gentlemen, travelers of all ages, the banner details are now live for Milani and Kazuha. Now for me, I have my own specific things that kind of make me go, should this really be a summonable banner or should I just go ahead and skip, right? But of course there are other things that we have to take into account, right? Like not everybody has been playing the game like me for five years. So I have to take into that what I know in regards to new players. And honestly, it's tough for me to say that these banners are a skip. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about these banners. See if it's the bang for your buck that you need going into Natland. And if you should possibly wait. Should you summon for these two? That's the question we're going to answer today. Anyways, enough uh, stalling for the start of this. Uh, actually, no, I lied. Uh, gamer subs, baby. Use code TYSTER for 10% off. Now I'm done stalling. Let's go ahead and start out with Benny Boy, right? I want to start out with Benny Boy because I do like Bennett. And I don't think anybody could say anything bad about Bennett. For me personally, I've been using Bennett since the beginning of the game, right? At first, you didn't want to see 6 him. But nowadays, honestly, his C6 is a lot more of a positive than a negative. And I hate saying that because for the longest time, I was like, how dare you C6 your Bennett's? And then I had to do it, and now I have to give up on it. Now, what's cool about Bennett, right, is when you do your burst, right? Your burst is what you mainly want him for. Uh, in the inspiration field, if a if the health of a character within the AOE is equal to or falls below 70%, the health will continuously regenerate. The amount of HP restored scales on Bennett's max HP. If the health of a character within the AOE is higher than 70%, they gain an attack bonus that is based on Bennett's base attack and also imbues the character with pyro damage, right? Pretty dang poggies, right? And some of you might be thinking, well, you know, okay, that's cool and all, but why is that super important? Well, you're going to want an attack booster, right? And you're going to want a healer. Why not have both? It's just that dang good. It's just that fantastic, right? And then we get into the C6. Swords, Claymores, Polearm wielding characters inside Fantastic Voyage's radius gain a 15% pyro damage bonus with their web or and their weapons are infused with py pyro, right? So originally it would be crazy for you to do a C6 Bennett because your power would be infused with pyro now. So if you were doing like, let's say an electro character and you wanted to keep that electro DPS, well now they're pyro. Nowadays, that's not as big a deal as anything else. Especially since you got someone like Kazuha, right? And I'm not going to show off Kazuha too much because Kazuha is just already like one of the best characters in the game. I know a, a last time I said this, surprisingly, people were like, what the heck are you saying? Kazuha is not. Yeah, he is. If you truly don't think Kazuha is still one of the best units in the game, I have to tell you right now, you're out of your mind because the ability to shred that he could do, right? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go to him. We'll we'll come back to this, right? I'm just gonna go that sword. Not the that's the wrong thing. Um, I'm gonna go to him really quick because I know I said I wasn't gonna talk to him about uh, or talk to you guys about him like this, but I do feel it's needed because he's just that thing good. So with Kazuo, right? You got your skill, which is pretty dang poggies as it is. I said poggies in 2020. Well. It's been said before. You get what I'm trying to say. But basically, if you press it, it pulls it, it pulls everybody in as best as it can. But like, it's not going to do as much pull as you hold it down. When you hold it down, you're going to go higher and pull in enemies. Uh, per, at least the smaller and medium range enemies. You're going to pull them in a lot better. You activate his like burst after that. The burst from there, if auto, er, the signature technique of Kazuha's self-styled blade work, a single slash that strikes with the force of the first winds of autumn, dealing AOE animo damage, and then also it kind of shreds. If autumn whirlwind comes into contact with hydro, pyro, cryo, or an electro, it deals additional elemental damage of that type. Elemental absorption may only occur once per use. Basically, it's shredding any character or any enemies like uh, uh, abyss mages or anything like that that has an elemental shield which is huge, very, very huge. Um, another thing too with Kazuha is his uh, Ascension passive, his second one, at the, like specifically, upon triggering a swirl reaction, Kazuha will grant all party members a 0.04 elemental damage bonus of the element absorbed by swirl for every point of elemental mastery he has for eight seconds. 
That's huge. Not only that, but if you pair him with like Favonia Sword, which I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it's that sword, where it gives you a possibility of using your uh, using your skill twice. Sorry, my brain is all like I'm tired. I, I just got out of work. But if you have that, it's going to cause you to do even more damage over time and cause you to get those elemental particle particles that you're gonna need. So, <laughs> you know. Um, but what's really cool also, at least for me, right, is if you go for the C1 for him, which is what I have, decreases uh, Chu Chua, Chua, uh, Chuhayaburo cooldown by 10%, and the Kazuha Slash resets the cooldown of the uh, Chihayaburo. So, really cool in general. So, you could go skill without Favonia Sword, right? Let's take Favonia Sword out of there now. If you have the C1, you could skill, then burst, then skill again, giving you more elemental particles. But he's just so good as a support unit for a team. It's it's bonkers to me. One character that I don't feel is a good support, Zinyan. Zinyan's terrible. Zinyan's trash. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now, if you are pulling for Zinyan, you must really like the character. Zinyan, compared to all the other characters right now, is just horrible. It sucks that she's part of the banner. I love her design. That's the thing. I love her design. I think she's adorable. Um, and the fact that she's like this, you know, rock singer and plays guitar is really, really cool. But it just sucks that her kit sucks, right? So that's just me. I don't have really much else to talk about with Zinyan. So we're going to go right into the other four star, right? Kachina. Kachina is going to be a geo pole arm, right? And Kachina seems like she's going to be a lot of fun. We get her for free. So that's the one thing you got to think about is you're getting her for free. Now, it could be that her, like, constellations are just absolutely bonkers. I haven't read too much into her, right? Because I'm not I'm not ov overly excited for her, right? But she seems like she's going to be fun. Her burst, strike at the ground, Kachina deals AoE uh, geo damage based on the, her defense and creates a turbo drill field. So she's going to scale off a of defense automatically, which is good. Like, geo characters will always... Well, not always, but they, always, they usually seem to scale off defense is what i'm trying to say um so her skill summons turbo twirly when the skill is held and released kachita will summon the ride and ride turbo twirly uh after the skill is used kachita will gain 60 night soul points and enter the night soul's blessing state uh when she's in that uh she has various actions that consume the night soul points uh the night soul, night soul blessing state will end when the points have been depleted uh turbo twirly when present, independent of Kachina, it'll slam onto the ground in intervals, intervals dealing Night Soul aligned AoE geo damage based on Kachina's defense. And when Kachina is riding Turbo Twirly, she can control and move and climb swiftly and use normal attacks to slam on the ground, dealing Night Soul aligned AoE geo damage. So she's gonna be a four star geo DPS, it looks like, which is okay. Like, I think she'll work well with like a Chiori or uh, obviously Goro. So you have that. If you have those characters, then great. If you're new, she's not going to be too much of a help for you. Which brings me to Milani, right? If you look at Milani, she's going to be a Catalyst Hydro user, which is pretty pog. But she's not going to get that benefit from the C... Or she's not going to get that benefit. Sorry, Bennett. She's not going to get that benefit from Bennett C6 because she's a Catalyst user. I'm pretty sure that's correct because, yeah. So it's Swords, Claymores, and pull arms. So she's not going to get that. So she, the only thing that you're going to be able to do with her with Bennett is vaporize and get a small, not small, but attack bonus, right? Because from Bennett's burst, you get an attack bonus of up or as high as Bennett's base attack. And he's a dual scaler. So you at least get that with Milani. Now, Milani seems like she's going to be a hydro DPS for the most part. Um, her skill from what, from what I could tell is very long. Be good to tell. <laughs> so, um, Ways of Water uh, can surf at any time. The skill, you could basically surf on the shark, which is pretty dope. Um, but her burst is very short, surprisingly. Fires a super shark missile that could track opponents, dealing Night Soul aligned AoE hydro damage based on Milani's max HP. So she's going to be a DPS based off of HP. That kind of... Uh, I mean, yeah. I guess we need more scaling off of different things but eh, i don't know if you are a brand new player right these banners are actually pretty nice the only thing the only thing that sucks is zinyan but if you aren't a new player you're gonna have a hard time like finding the value 
if you've already got like a Kazuha, because Kazuha was reread multiple times already. You probably already got a C4, C5, C6 Bennett. You're not going to need a Zinyan, and Kachina is going to be free anyway. So for someone like me, the banner comes down to, do you want more constellations of Kachina and do you want a Milani? And this is for me. I'm not going to summon. If you're in the same boat as me, I would not summon, right? We, we're we're going to get Malvika in 2.2, uh, or not 2.2, 5.2. Let's just be honest here. So to me, there's no point in summoning for Milani. However, she could be insanely good and turns out to break the game. And then I'm completely wrong, which is possible. I just, I'm like, whatever with it. You know, I'm kind of like Milani is adorable, but that's about it. Uh, Kachina we're getting for free. So there's no point for me. And I've already got a Kazuha C1. I don't need to go any further. But if you are a newer player, I say these banners are actually really good. And the next set of banners are going to be pretty sick as well. Minus the four stars, because I don't know what those are just yet. But I would say if you're a new player, go for Kazuha first. Because again, he's just that good. I don't know how good Milani is going to be. But I do know how good Kazuha is. And Kazuha is freaking busted, in my opinion. Summon for Kazuha if you're going to summon. If you want Milani, it's going to be good regardless. Because you're going to at least get the vape combo between her and Bennett. Right? But that's it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Are you going to be something for Milani and Kazuha? Definitely would love to hear your opinions on this. Sorry if it seems like I'm scatterbrained. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done. Um, I was not prepared for so much stuff to drop today. Uh, and I had a very, very long day at work. So my apologies if it seems like I'm scatterbrained. Don't, don't, know, it, like, don't know where I'm trying to get at. That's not what I'm trying to say. I don't know. It's just a weird day for me, guys. It's been it's been weird. I need a vacation. Uh, again, summon for Kazuha, in my personal opinion. Kazuha was great. Milani, if you want to summon for her, I don't blame you. But, you know, who knows? I want to see how well she does. But that's going to be it. Love you all to death. And as always, we'll catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.